Hi, Jamie Andreas from Guitar Principles with you again with another Guitar Principles secret. This time I want to tell you about continuous contact. Continuous contact applies to all styles of guitar. If I'm playing electric, I'm going to observe continuous contact. What does it mean? I'm going to try to keep my left hand fingers always down on something, on some string. I'm going to try not to lift them until absolutely necessary and often it isn't necessary. Now this is very important playing something like a scale. Okay, a lot of uh, guitar students will play a note, then when they play the next note, they'll release pressure from the first one and then make their move. That is not the efficient way. It's not going to result in speed. What you want to do is leave the pressure of the first finger down as you're playing the second one and only when you're ready to make your move you release of course on this scale you don't lift you just drag over like that and you leave the pressure down when you're doing your slow practice you should leave the pressure of the first one down until it's ready to move as you go faster it kind of adjusts itself another application for rock guitar would be playing a simple shuffle obviously I'm going to leave the one down as the other fingers place I'm not going to release pressure, even slightly, and definitely not let the finger come up. Continuous contact applies to the acoustic guitar. Here's a common sequence that we have in songs. C chord to a G with a B in the bass to an A minor. Now guitar students will tend to go like this. They'll play the first chord, they'll release their fingers, and they'll attempt to get into the second chord. They'll release their fingers and get into the third chord. Not that that's not possible, but there are many playing circumstances where your playing is going to be greatly improved by using continuous contact, and there are many circumstances where it's the only thing that's going to work. In this case, I will not lift my third finger until I put my second behind it. That way I can keep my shoulder relaxed in what we call in the guitar principles the heavy arm, we add the arm weight to the hand and make the change like this. Now when I go to the A minor, I'm going to place this finger first of the A minor, maintain the relaxation in my shoulder, and just move the fingers over. So that's continuous contact on acoustic. On the classical guitar, continuous contact is essential. If I'm playing something like What I'm really doing is I'm not going to lift that finger until this one's in place. And then as I move down, I'm going to hold that finger on and place this. That is the way to streamline all of your left hand work on guitar using continuous contact.